Oh, where's he at? The killer gorilla. Here I be. What up, man? How are you, sir? I'm doing good. I'm taking my hair out right now. Why are you taking it out? I like the hair. Well, I've had it in for a while. I had it in for like, here, let me fix this uh, phone. So I can I see you properly. I had it in for like uh, two weeks now. And that's so, it? You had enough? Yeah, I'm going to let my hair relax and go back to its natural state and uh, let it relax. Okay. How are you feeling? Yeah. Did you did you get surgery on your pec? I did. What I happened? Did. Tell us what happened. What well, how did I get the how did I get the injury? Yeah, how'd you get the injury? Because I remember talking to you in Houston, and you seemed good to go, and then we find out that you were hurt. It happened in Houston, man. It happened the day. It happened the day of the fight, actually. That morning, wow. I was, uh, in the mat room trying to get some work in because you know I had a fight coming up. You know. Um, you know, we was trying to get a fight to come up. Right. And um, I was in there. I was training with Ben, doing some jujitsu, and I was just passing his guard, you know. And I pa I did pass his guard, and but as I, I went to get strong and uh, collect him up into side control, contracting that uh, that pec that was already extended, um, it just tore on me. So wow, I've done that a million times, and the, it's the first time the pec ever. You know, my pec tore. Uh, to him, so freak accident. I can't believe it happened, but uh, it did. So I'm on the road to recovery, though. I think this is what um, is it week week four? Okay. Yeah, week four post surgery, and this is my my second week into uh, physical therapy. Or did it my, hurt? I can't remember. Did it hurt when it did, happened? Did it hurt? Well, it feel good. It wasn't too comfortable, okay. but as far as like the pain level, it wasn't really uh, painful. You know, excruciatingly painful. It was very dis very discomfort uh, uncomfortable. So um, mm -hmm. I felt it. I saw it. I felt it, and it ha when it happened, oh man, I thought it was a shoulder. Yep, I thought it was Whoa. a shoulder, and uh, <clears throat> I thought it was a shoulder because it's right there. So yeah, I knew, but I had uh, dislocated the shoulder before, and I felt it a little bit higher in the shoulder, in the joint area up here. And that's why I had surgery before, but I felt it right here in front. And then as I looked at it, I saw my thing, my head, uh, head, uh, I guess swelled up. It looked like a little booby I had there. So wow. <laughs> I knew it was the pain when it happened. Wow, that is, okay, so what are they saying as far as when you could return, best case scenario? Um, uh, typically it's five to six months. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, the fall so probably. I, I, fall the, doctor well. said, the doctor said he'll clear me to fight after after five months. You know, considering I do everything right. By the way, did you watch that title fight, Israel Desanya and Yoel Romero? What'd you think of it? I was right there, man. <laughs> What'd you think? What'd you think of that fight? I thought it was an interesting affair. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. I thought it definitely uh, didn't uh, uh, meet up to a lot of fans' expectations. As far right. as my expectations, I don't I don't put expectations on a fight because I know how fights can go. They can go any which way. Um, um, they weren't exciting to a lot of people, but I was excited to see how those guys reacted to each other. You know what I'm saying? I was uh, I was very well engaged into to, uh, into how they were uh, trying to employ their game plan and uh, how they reacted to you know you know I, I was just watching the fight. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So. Um, who do you think won? I learned a lot from watching it. And, you know, everybody was mad. I was, I, I think I was entertained as well. But, you know, I have a vested in so it. Right. It was fun to watch. Who do you think won? Well, <laughs> well, I, well, I said this before. I knew somebody was going to ask me this question, but I'll say this. I say Izzy did enough to retain his title. Hmm. And at the same time, Yoel did didn't do much at all to take the title, so um, right. All and right. that's just it, you know. In, in that, you know, Wizzy had, you know, Izzy won due to the judges uh, giving him uh, the decision. Uh, if if all but, goes well, uh, I thought it was a good fight, you know. In a perfect world, if normal life resumes in the fall, who do you want that first opponent to be? Whoever gets me the title shot. Either the title shot or whoever gives me that shot next. So whoever, you know what I'm saying? It can be anybody. Now, with everybody's, you know, had their, you know, got the rocks off with everybody having their fights and stuff, 
by the time I get back, everybody should be available. So, you know what I'm saying? Who's in front of me? That's mm. your answer. Okay. And yeah. by the way, uh, very, very uncertain, unhealthy times. Any good crystals that you would suggest to, to, to ward off viruses, infections, bad mojo, <laughs> anything you, we, we turn to you, Jared Cannonier. anything you could tell us, please right. help us. All right, let me, let me look at here. Let me see what I have. Something. Um, I need something. As Positivity. Far as viruses, I'm not, as far as viruses specifically, I don't know. As far as, um, hmm, I don't know. What? You got nothing? Now I'm really <laughs> depressed. Nothing. Well, hey, hey, how about this? As far as sitting at home and not, you know, self isolation, I think everybody should be have some uh, some grounding stones, you know, because people want to always want to get up and go and do something. And they're never content with where they're at. They're never present with where they're at at the moment, and able to absorb what's going on at the moment. They always want to go to the next thing and be distracted. So uh, get some grounding stones. Black tourmaline, right mm. here. I have. Let me see if you can see that. Oh, it's too close. Some black will be. Okay, yeah, okay. This big piece is pretty fragile. I don't like to pick it up too much. Oh, wow. Look but at that's that. That's a nice raw piece right there. I okay. also have some black tourmaline points. Okay. Keeps us grounded, some right? Tourmaline. Some shungite, I think is good. Grounding stone, shungite, obsidian. What is this? Where we go? Here we go. This is a shungite pyramid. I got a cube over there. Damn. And of course, I have jewelry. Some grounding stones, so black. They're usually black and and uh and dark in pigment. Um, <clears throat> tourmaline again is still fragile, so I would go with some shungite. You know, okay. that's more resilient. So um, there you go. All right, that great and, advice. As, and, that and of course, pyrite to absorb the negativity. You know, if we need some luck in these times, we definitely need some good fortune in these times. So um. <clears throat> Pyrite. I'm always an advocate for pyrite. I love pyrite. I still play around with pyrite. All right. I love it. Thank you for this, Jared. All the You're best welcome. to you and your family. Uh, stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Stay positive. That was great advice at the end. And I hope that you recover quickly, my man. Thank you so much. And good luck with the hair. <laughs> Thank you. It's going to take some time. I'm, I'm with one arm down. I'm trying to get this thing done. Well, so, uh, I, I appreciate you watching us while you, uh, you pass the time over there doing the hair thing. You're welcome. Thank you. I saw the notification of, I'm like, okay, let's see what's going on. He, uh, actually, I was watching uh, Woodley's interview. He started saying some cool stuff, man, talking about how people, you know, get with the gimmicks and, you know what I'm saying? And I like that energy, you know what I'm saying? That, that, the dude, basically, what he was saying is authentic, you know what I'm saying? Don't get, don't play into the games or do whatever you got to do. I, I personally say do what you got to do to get your bag, you know what I'm saying? As long as it's not at anybody else's expense. So unfortunately, we see that it is at other people's expense. The tactics that people employ, and um, I for I agree with Woodley in that regard. So um, hats off to that man for articulating it the way he did. I, it got me kind of fired up the way he was he was uh, he was talking there. So um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.